This is DC Danton Croker Seder. It's the uh, 25th of December. Merry Christmas once again. This is the evening feeding and uh, the sun is shining and it's really warmed up. It's absolutely a spectacular day. It was windy and rainy and miserable and cold yesterday on Christmas Eve. Uh, but on our Christmas, my Christmas, it's absolutely a gorgeous day. It would have been perfect uh, had Millie not had a seizure about an hour and a half ago. Uh, but I saw it coming because in the last two weeks, uh, his breathing wasn't normal. He was more restless than normal. And I, even though I wanted a blood test last Thursday when I took him in, um, the vet was just uh, overwhelmed with cases and uh, I just don't think he wanted to do the blood test then. And also, uh, Millie is getting, trying to get over this infection. But I was really hesitant because I wanted it because I knew something was brewing. And uh, he hasn't had a seizure in a long time, nine months, almost 10 months, but, um, but he finally had one. And with each seizure, it's longer and more profound. So, yeah, and uh, a lot of blood came out of his mouth. He's bitten himself rather severely, and who knows? I can't take him in tomorrow. It's holiday, and the vet won't be back till Wednesday, so I have to wait till Wednesday. I do have liquid food for him, so I can put that in, in his mouth. He doesn't have to chew, so that's something very, very good. I, uh, there are special vitamins for cats with renal failure, and I give those to him uh, several times a day in his food. But I'm not sure that he can eat anything right now. So it was all very scary. It was very sudden. I was uploading the Christmas video, and then it happened. So, yeah, bad things even happen on Christmas to good people. That's just the way it is. But uh, I'm a little bit, uh, how should I say, a little bit uh, under, under the weather. Uh, took the stuffing, knocked the stuffing out of me, and uh, sort of subdued our, um, the mood. And poor Bryant completely, and I did too, completely forgot that he has dialysis today. We completely forgot. And uh, here's Otto Lang driving by. Uh, he drove up on the terrace. I'm not sure he wanted to do something. And then he drove back down again. I have no idea what these people are up to. But it's always never anything good. Remember, they're the ones with the uh, anti-bird device. So, yeah. We have our crows here. We have a few pigeons left, not many. There were a lot more this morning. And it's just a beautiful day. I see the gulls are starting to move in. So we'll uh, move ahead here and uh, move on with our little feeding. I think the first thing I'm going to do, oh, look at that. Look at our gulls up there. Don't uh, hear see more, but I did add more... Uh, I did add more uh, eggs today. There's another white car. I'm not sure what those people are up to. But anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, the driver for the Red Cross comes and rings her doorbell. <laughs> Thank goodness Bryant uh, uh, had to finish eating his Christmas dinner by himself because I laid with the cat with Mealy for an hour on the bed finally got him to fall asleep because he was so restless after the seizure and by the way uh, he made his rounds through the house I noticed after a seizure he's uh, lost all uh, current memory and he started doing things he's never done before 
And one of them, he went right up. The Chi-Chi was in her little house sleeping. And he kissed her on the nose. And she did nothing. Because uh, she saw the seizure. And uh, he must smell different. And she let him do it. And she just looked at him. And he wanted to do it again. But then she started getting uh, testy. So I, I had to move him away. Because I was afraid she might claw him or... or then he would react in a negative way. I didn't want that. And usually he's sort of semi-afraid of Bryant. But, um, but he went right up to Bryant and he, he nicked his little leg. And, you know, it was just so out, of, <laughs> so out of the ordinary. And me too. He did things that he's never done before. And uh, either he did them as a kitten. I have no idea. But this is what happens. And it will take him a few days to reclaim some of his memory. And he will not reclaim all of it, but he'll reclaim uh, most of it, if he's lucky. So, we'll go on and feed the birdies, because they're all waiting. And it looks like our calls are, are have come in. And uh, we'll put down our, our little, uh, our little peanuts first. So I just uh, got you all caught up. You know, things are very dynamic in Crow Crusader's household. They just they change from hour to hour, right? I mean, dead birds on Christmas, and poor Millie has a, a grandma seizure. Um, they say he bit, he bit the inside of his mouth or his tongue, and there was a little piece of flesh that came out, and lots of blood. So I'm a little bit worried, but we'll see how he does. And thank God he's on antibiotics. He's on antibiotics because of his chronic mouth infection. And those antibiotics may help to, um, to stem uh, any infection that might set in. Because we won't be able to get there to Wednesday. We have an appointment on Thursday, but I'm not going to wait. I'm taking it in on Wednesday. And I'll uh, probably have to travel myself because Bryant has dialysis. But uh, that's just the way it is. And uh, yeah, we have, uh, he has some sunflower seeds. I'm going to put some down here right now. And uh, for our little, little sparrows, which are still here. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. I couldn't have wished weather-wise for a beautiful day. So, yes, the gulls cannot get the peanuts in the shower. <laughs> and the crows are very happy about that. And that's why I threw those down first. So, I'll put some sunflower seeds down here now. And uh, hi, guy. Hi, little baby. Put the rest over here. Tomorrow's still holiday. So it's like they get two more Sundays in a row, right? Two more Sundays in a row. Okay, let's go out here. Some of our poor crows are really looking beat up. I have no idea why, but it's, it's really rough out here. Well, here's Seymour. Seymour has arrived. Where is he? He must be up in the sky. Yeah, he's, he's flying in the sky. So yeah, so I now got you all caught up. And poor Bryant, the doorbell rang and the Red Cross driver was waiting there. And uh, he says, don't go down there. It's a burglar trying, he completely forgot. Actually, I did too. I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna see who it is. <laughs> There's a Red Cross driver. He says, well, is Bryant ready? I'm like, I run upstairs and he says, oh my God, he says, I forgot. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame that uh, our Christmas is spoiled by that. But it's the dialysis that's keeping Bryant alive, isn't it? And for that, you should be grateful. 
that he lives in modern times. Because he was born a hundred years ago, or even less than that. Uh, how should I say? Maybe 75 years ago, he'd be out of luck. He'd be out of luck. He'd be gone. He would be gone seven years ago. So, that's how long he's been on dialysis. <laughs> Here's our little... Get in there. Get in there, Seymour. There he is. There's our little Seymour. Got the eggs. Okay. I'll move around here so I don't disturb them. Oh, look. Look what we have here. We have a little dandelion blooming. Look at that. Look at that. A little dandelion blooming. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Here's our little birds. I also have some leftover potatoes in there. Um, from dinner today. Organic, of course. Birds love them. And they're good for them. So, they're good for them. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the most beautiful scene in Kreutzling 